home? Let's do science. Hi scientists, my name is Monica from the California Science Center and helping me out today is Mariela. Check out how we experiment with electricity. This is our Tesla coil. It is made of many parts, but the three main parts shown here are the primary coil, made of thick copper, the secondary coil, made of thin copper coil spun hundreds of times around a tube, and the torus, which is made of aluminum. As a Tesla coil is turned on, the primary coil passes a current or a flow of electric charge to the secondary coil. The charge builds up on the torus, and when we bring our grounding stick near the torus, we can see a discharge that looks like lightning. The purple bluish color is due to the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the air. The Tesla coil also sends out an electromagnetic field that can turn on a light bulb, but the field only goes so far. And this is our Van der Graaff generator. Much less dangerous than our Tesla coil, but just as electrifying. As the belt inside spins, it creates friction, which produces static electricity. That static electricity can be discharged like this. It can also make things fly off your hands, like this. It can even make your hair go up. It reminds me of the static I feel when I go down a slide. Now check out this scientist experimenting with static electricity. Hi everyone, hi. So scientists, today we're going to make a snake charmer. The materials you will need is Anything circular, we are using a paper plate, tissue paper, a pencil, scissors, and wool, any type of cloth you want. Okay, so we're gonna use the pencil to trace around the paper plate. Well, what shape does this make, Amina? A circle. Good job. And you don't wanna get out of the lines. You done? And in the middle of the circle, you're going to draw a spiral thick line. Then we're going to cut out our snake. We have finished cutting the snakes and we decorate them with pastels. You can decorate them or leave it blank. So now we're going to rub the balloon on the piece of wool. What do you think's happening, Camila? I don't know, I hear noise. Yes, you do hear noise, but there's different types of energies, a positive and a negative. They create one force, which is static electricity. Did you know that, Camila? No. Do you, what do you predict is gonna happen when we rub, when we put the balloon near the snake? I predict that the snake's gonna stick on the balloon. Ooh, Camila, great prediction. We have finished rubbing our balloons on the piece of wool. Let's see if your prediction is correct, Camila. Whoa! Whoa, Camila, you saw that? Yeah. That's because of the static electricity. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was great. Hope you scientists are feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.